Hello, this is Scott Buchaner, editor of telecoms.com, and I'm delighted to be speaking today to Ronan Kelly of Adtran. So, Ronan, let's just get straight into it. I know there's been a lot of news coming out of Adtran recently, including the closing of a deal um, combining Adtran and Adfa. And then last week, you launched a new fiber access platform product. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about the broader significance of these two bits of news? Sure, absolutely. Scott, as always, great to catch up. Um, yeah, it's a really exciting year for us in 2023 now. A lot of good news coming out of the company. Obviously, we've been talking to the industry for quite a while about the combination of Adtran and Adva um, to, um, to come together, and that finally got closed out just towards the, the back end of last year. The significance of that is really important because Adva is one of the leading European vendors in the WDM transport, um, clocking and synchronization, carrier ethernet and network, uh, fiber network monitoring solutions um, and bringing their capabilities to complement the portfolio that Adtran brings to the table, obviously in the fiber access side of things, is really, really important for our customers because we, we bring more end-to-end -end capability. We bring a much deeper value proposition to those customers. But probably most important with all of that is it gives us the opportunity to consolidate some of the functionality. So you touched on you know the, the recent product launch that we had with um, the, the latest fiber aggregation platform that we bring to market um, under what we call an OLT, an optical line termination uh, piece of equipment. And that product is the SDX6330. And what that allows us to do is, first of all, in a device that's no larger than a PlayStation 5, basically we can terminate the connections. These are the gigabit broadband connections of up to 9,000 subscribers in this tiny, tiny device. And now with the capabilities that we get as part of the combination between Adva and Adtran, we get to bring their capabilities on the transport side of things and embed that natively into that device. So that brings huge power savings for service providers where the, the using the 100 gig ZOR interfaces that Adva brought to, available to the market natively within that box cuts down the power consumption for the transport requirements down to one quarter of what they would normally be. And then because we can put those optics directly into that OLT piece of equipment, it means we can eliminate the need for external dedicated transport equipment as well, which delivers huge savings for the service providers on the space required for equipment, the energy required to drive that equipment, but also the capital expense associated with procurement of equipment as well. Okay, thanks a lot, Ronan. That sounds like a really impressive array of features uh, for this new product set. But I'm just wondering if it's a bit late in the day to be introducing any new fiber access solutions, given how mature many fiber markets are. And it's a fair question, to be honest, and it's a question we look closely at as well when we were planning for the, this latest product to bring it to market. The reality is, if you look at the traditional systems that are out there within the marketplace for terminating fiber access. I would largely agree with you. It probably is too late in the day to be trying to introduce new variants of those. But in the world of open disaggregated OLTs where we break apart the OLT and move away from those closed chassis systems into more discrete components, in that world, the pace of innovation is much, much faster. And what we've been able to do with this device, as I mentioned earlier, the sheer compact size of it, a device smaller than the PlayStation 5, terminating the services of 9,000 subscribers is unheard of in this industry. So huge opportunities to save on deployment space for operators, which is really important as many of them try to exit buildings and sell off those assets to, to, to help bring more cash flow into the business to fund their fiber build outs. But more importantly than that, by using the very latest generation of components within that equipment, it's no secret across all aspects of society and telco is not shielded from this, the cost of energy is skyrocketing across the developed world, particularly in the Western world. We've seen some of the largest operators who do a pretty good job of hedging their, their, their purchasing of um, energy. And um, we've seen many of them have their cost of energy triple over the last 24 months. And that constitutes straight to bottom line erosion because typically they can't pass that cost straight onto the consumer. With this new device, we're 60% more efficient than traditional OLT platforms that are out there in the marketplace and 70% more compact as well. So saving the, all that valuable real estate space to allow buildings to be freed up and more subscribers to be concentrated into much smaller locations. So no, we don't think it's too late. We actually think the timing is spot on. Good answer. Um, you, you were talking more broadly about um, fiber markets. So I was wondering if we could just uh, finish up by by taking a step back and looking at some of the 
um, broader market conditions. So there's lots of talk about consolidation. There's obviously been a, a fair bit of what I would characterize as a gold rush, a lot of, lot of investment, a lot of spending on fiber, roll, fiber rollout. And now there's talk of, of consolidation, especially here in the UK. I'm just wondering what this means for, for Adtran and for the operators who deployed your solutions. Yeah, no, without question, Gold Rush is a really fitting description for the fiber industry in the developed world period. Um, you know, we see it in markets like Germany where there's over 200 entities building out fiber to the home today. And uh, the Italian market's no different. There's like 50 or 60 that we're aware of um, in the Italian market. The UK has over 100 operators today actively building out fiber infrastructure. And that's not sustainable. We've seen this movie before in the cable industry where at one point in time in the UK market, there was close to 100 cable operators. And ultimately that ended up being whittled down to one in the end. Um, there's no question consolidation is coming. It's not going to be a surprise to the operators when in the marketplace, they're all aware of this and they're all expecting it and they're all planning for it. Um, one of the good things for the Adtran customers, particularly in the UK, where we service I would say roughly around 60% of the operators that are deploying fiber in the UK today are deploying Adtran equipment to light that fiber. So naturally there's some synergies there when they do begin to consolidate, the likelihood of them consolidating another Adtran footprint is quite high. But more importantly, when it comes to how they manage and orchestrate their networks, the Adtran Mosaic cloud platform is an open orchestration solution that easily allows service providers to bring in third-party equipment underneath that orchestration capability so they can automatically deliver services right across the end-to-end -end network, regardless of the mix of the vendors that's involved within that. So it significantly reduces the pain involved of integrating a third-party uh, vendor um, that comes from an acquisition into their existing network and allows them to preserve the same levels of automation that they already enjoy today. Okay, I'm sure that will come as some relief to for this impending consolidation that will happen. That was very interesting, Absolutely. Ronan. Uh, uh, thanks a lot for your time. Great to speak to you. Scott, great to catch up. Cheers.